Welcome and thanks for joining us. I'm here with attorney Trevor Rockstad with the law firm Davis and Crump. We're going to talk today about a, a condition associated with certain birth control products. It's information you may not have heard about. Trevor, what is this condition? Bill, the condition that we're investigating right now is a condition called pseudotumor cerebri. It's also called intracranial hypertension. And what that is, is a false brain tumor. Uh, it's a buildup of spinal fluid that causes increased pressure in the skull, uh, which puts pressure on the brain and on the optic nerve, causing various symptoms such as uh, vision loss that can be permanent, uh, ringing in the ears, dizziness, uh, severe migraine headaches. And this kid condition, like you mentioned, has been associated with various birth control products. So what are those products? The products that we're looking at, Bill, are Mirena IUD and Depo-Provera, which is an injectable birth control product. Uh, we're also investigating some other products, but right now those are the two that we're focusing our attention on. So Trevor, what information do we have that links these birth control devices with false brain tumors? Well, recently there's been a study by a group of prominent neuro-ophthalmologists that has found an association between Mirena and pseudotumor cerebri. Uh, but really the evidence goes much further back than that. Uh, a product that was marketed back in the 90s called Norplant uh, contained the same hormone that is in Mirena. And back in the 90s, the FDA required the manufacturer of that product to put a warning on its label that that particular hormone was associated with an increased risk in pseudotumor cerebri. So Trevor, do the manufacturers of these birth control products know about the link to false brain tumors? Well, they should know. Unless they've had their head in the sand for the past 30 years, they certainly should know. Uh, when, when Bayer went to market with Mirena, they would have had full knowledge of the fact that there were studies related to the association and also that the Norplant label, which contained the same hormone as Mirena, contained that warning uh, and that the FDA had directed the manufacturer of that product to put the warning, put the warning in the label. And uh, to me, those facts are just very compelling. That's strong evidence that Bayer knew or should have known that this product was associated with pseudotumor cerebri and that they should have put the warning on the label and in the end they chose not to do that. So there's litigation involved right now. Where does your, how is your firm involved in that litigation? Well right now we're one of the the firms that is spearheading the litigation. We have filed cases in California State Court. Uh, we have cases on file uh, that we are, are pursuing out there in California and uh, we're investigating cases and beginning to file cases in federal court venues around the country. Uh, we believe that there are a number of cases that involve this injury and these products and we are beginning the battle against these manufacturers to um, obtain compensation for those that were injured by this product. Yeah, and that was my follow-up question. If they've been, if there are people out there who've been injured, what do they do? Well, I would encourage anyone who's been injured by one of these products, and that is anyone who's been diagnosed with a pseudotumor cerebri and, and was implanted with the Mirena IUD or was given the Depo-Provera shot, I would encourage them to contact our office. Uh, we would be interested in talking with them and beginning to investigate their case. Uh, this is something that we feel passionately about. We feel strongly that these are good cases and that these victims of these manufacturers uh, should be given justice. It's good information that many of you need to know. That's attorney Trevor Rockstad with the law firm Davison Crump. Thanks for watching.